Now, where in the world are we today? This doesn't look like Tafton. It is Tafton, though. I know. It's uh, someplace new and exciting for your entertainment purposes. Something completely out of the box for us. We are at the Paw Pack Blueberry Farm. We're going blueberry picking. Blueberry picking, and they have a store over here that sells blueberry ice cream. Oh, man. And you know who's going to be scooping it for us? Our Taylor. friend Taylor. Let's go check it out. This is Taylor of Paw Pack Blueberry Farm. That's right. Mm -hmm. How long has the farm been here now? It's 1964. 60 years! Yeah. My God. We saw the celebratory sign out front. Yeah, yeah. And the store is open here from 8.30 until 5 every day. 8 to 5. 8, Eight to, five. to 5. You got oh, correct. for you early yeah. risers. A little earlier. And um, there's a nice place where you can sit on the porch uh -huh. and have a blueberry muffin. Yeah. Or a scoop of I'm blueberry. Gonna, I'm going to show Let's them see around. see everything that you yeah. got. Yeah! delicious gems and a scone that were made here at the farm. Uh, right? Look at this. Look at that. Mmm. They're almost like those cookies with the powder and the red in the middle. What are they called? Uh, Linzer cookies. Almost like a Linzer cookie. Only mm. blueberry. Mm -hmm. Take a bite of a scone. I want to get a bite of a scone. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got blueberries all the way through the scone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's very soft, and the blueberry kind of explodes in my mouth like my mother's blueberry pancakes. Oh, that's oh, nice. This is awesome. Oh my God, look at this scone. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get enough of it. You gotta try a bite of this. Okay. We're gonna swap the camera around again. Oh yeah, it is. It is very light. It's light. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs> and I got a, I got a souvenir. I got a copper um, mug with a mm -hmm. bear on it for. Uh, the Paw Pack Blueberry Farm souvenir. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and eat the rest of our cookies over here. And then we're going to go and check out the Blueberry Farm.
That was really cool. Very, very nice stop here. Right near our house. They are our neighbors. Hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage. That's the second time we've taken the drone out this year. Because we need more B-roll. And we want to be able to show you some amazing stuff. We don't have to talk all the time. The uh, Blueberry Farm store is kind of hidden in the woods. Mm -hmm. But what you see is the Blueberry Fields. Where you yeah. can go and pick blueberries for yourself. $3.95 a pound. That's not bad. They'll supply buckets too. If you have uh, uh, a need for a bucket. $2 for the bucket. Nice. Off to the next stop. Where are we now? This doesn't look like no movie theater. I don't know. I bought the tickets and it took us here. It uh, doesn't look very promising. It looks like, I don't know, like a they got department a they got a store. They movie poster over there. Yeah. We're probably the first show of the day, which uh, doesn't start for another half an hour or so. So maybe we'll go see if we can uh, do some shopping. And yeah, movie theater is located. There is a massive shopping mall plaza here we've got some saffron indian cuisine behind us and then coming down here you got a little liquor store right next door there's a mexican restaurant here that we're not really familiar with maybe we might get to try that today but then the rest of the plaza is all brand new so this adventure is getting interesting by the minute we had a good time at the blueberry farm but the craziest reason to go somewhere always leads to something better. Um, we're going to do two medium popcorn balls. Butter on those two? So we made it inside the Middletown Cinemas here in Middletown, New York. We're going to check out the movie Twisters and we're going to let you know what we thought. I don't want to know what the association is of this Twisters movie to the original Twister, but I think it's the same kind of thing. It was and, good. Uh, storm chasers and Scary. then the um, competitive storm chasers. Yeah, that too. So we uh, uh, know there was some recreational storm chasers there yep. as well. Don't give the whole movie away, yo. Well, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it, it was a lot of fun. It was. And uh, there was very um, action-ridden sequences. Yeah. It is not a horror film. It no. is an action film. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give it thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Would you so I gave it a thumbs down. I was scared out of my mind, just like the original. But it was a very good movie. Definitely come out and see it wherever you are. Go to your nearest movie theater and check it out. Twisters. Now that we got that out of the way, off to the next stop. Andiamo. I can't read what that says. Like, is that like Chinese, Japanese, Korean? What's your deal? I think it's Korean. You think it's Korean? And it says, so uh, if it's Korean, that means it must be hot pot. All you can eat hot pot. Oh my pot. God. Right here in Middletown, New York. God help me. <laughs> I hope you brought your hungries. Yeah. So we made it here into Fusion Hot Pot here in Middletown, New York. There is a scan bar scan on order. the table that you would scan the order to get your meal. And then you order on the phone. It's how much per person? Thirty-two dollars a person. All you can eat. All your soft drinks are included. There's also a thing here on the wall that tells you do not over order because you will be charged, and it also gives you other instructions as well. So we're gonna check this out and we're gonna let you know how it is. So he's placed his order. We've got. And we've got some tomato soup base, some height and spicy. I'm sure you can figure out who that is. Um, shrimp and white rice, and some noodles, and some, and some, rice, some, and some noodles, some dumplings, veggies, some more dumplings, dumplings, vegetables, so we could put the stuff and make our own little tacos, some beef meatballs, sliced chicken, sliced beef, sliced pork belly, sliced lamb, and beef belly. I think you've ordered enough food. Here. I think I have too. Let's eat. So he's brought some sauces over for the hot pot. I don't know what's in this. Maybe some celery. Some sweet sauce. Looks good. Over here he's got some more sauces in another bowl. I actually stuck my finger in that one and there's some peanut in that. But it's very pretty in here. Nice and small. Never thought there would be a restaurant in this house. <laughs> All right, the tomato-based hot pot has arrived. And like I said, I don't know what he put in this, but we're gonna find out. He's also got the meats over here. He's got some dumplings, he's got some balls, he's got some chicken, and some other kind of meats. He's in all for the spiciness. And yours is the tomato mayo. Yep. 
All right, mm. let's eat. All right, so he's dropped the first plate in. We've got some balls in there and some dumplings. <coughs> Mine's the tomato base, so you can see he gets the tomato right in there. This is spicy. Let him cook. All right, he's got the shrimp. Mm. And he's going to dip it right into his sauce there. From the sauce bar over from yonder. From the sauce bar. Mm. Yeah? It's definitely cooked all the way. Good. See, me, unfortunately, I have to use a fork because I don't know how to use chopsticks when it comes to stuff like this. So dip that right in there. Look at that, baby. Mmm. <clears throat> That's really good. And I went to combination of spices I used just too. One dumpling. And the same sauce. Same sauce. Mmm, that's a chicken one. That's a chicken one. Good? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm going all in. I'm going to take one of these cuttlefish balls. I'll dip it right in there in the sauce. And of course, we're not going to show you as we're eating everything, but we'll give you some more as it's coming up. Let's see how we did. Mmm. I don't know how to process this one. It tastes very different for a first timer here. But it was good. Boy, I think we're doing a pretty good job so far. I think so. We only have three more plates left I'll and a little it. bit. Mm -hmm. It's not very filling either, I've noticed, after eating all this so far. It what looks about like you? a lot of food, but then when it cooks down, it's not. A yeah, lot of food. exactly. How is that? I'm trying these mushrooms. They're really good. I, dump, I dumped my seasoning <clears throat> into my pot. Mm. I have some gotcha. chicken going on in there right now. Gotta give that time to cook. This is what happens when Mr. Murphy eats spicy food. Mm. He sweats. Anthony. Dang, dude, you killed it. I know, right? We have the last of the hot pot in our bowl. Some rice over here. It's and Mr. Yeah, that's what on Mr. Murphy's head. And Mr. Murphy's one happy boy. Another oh, successful yeah. hot pot. Yeah, We're gonna finish up eating. Off to the next stop. All the food is gone. All that's left is the soup. <gasps> What's that? Acai berry sorbet. Hmm. Well, tell us how it is. Well, the raspberry sorbet was all gone. Yeah. But this one here, there was a little bit left. Yeah. Oh. You want to try some? How is it? Very good. I'm going to try giving you a little chia sized piece. I'm very cold on my feet. It's good, I'm going my feet. It's very good though. I spread it out. Mm hmm. It's just us now. Mm. That was really good. I'm not even full, but thank God I didn't overeat because I have a tendency to do that. But we mix it up with meats and some vegetables, so that's why it went down real good. I always recommend hot pot for healthy eating. Now, on to the next stop. Back at it again Galleria Mall, Middletown, New York. We are going to see what we can find for our upcoming adventures. Let's go. The first store, J.C. Penney, was a bust. It wanted fifty dollars for shorts. It was about eighty dollars for shorts. And eighty. They had discounted swimwear, but we're not looking for swimwear. I got bathing suits. We're looking for shorts, so mm -hmm. we're gonna keep walking the mall and see what we find next. It's two now, crapped out twice. We just went in H and M and nothing. So we're gonna try one more time. Third one. We yeah. crapped out. We're uh, figuring out that the end of July is not the right time to go right. looking for shorts. So I'm going to be. Uh, Look at that mess. Look at that mess. Oh my god, that's a mess. And you were saying you're gonna go shopping online. I can go shop online. But we're gonna exactly. We're gonna continue walking the mall. We gotta show you something. Mm. You're gonna like this. So there's some little kitty keychains here. They're six dollars each, and what you do is you pick the item that you want off of the board here. So when you come over here to the board and you pick what you want, it's very important that you only have one, just one, because I got four things. I didn't realize I got four things. How much did that cost you? 
I think I robbed Mr. Murphy of $27 of Hello Kitty. Stuff. $27 Hello Kitty. But they're all different and all they're right. mine. So maybe you did get something good because this one that was nine bucks over here, it's a cinnamon roll double bracelet. Oh geez, yeah. It's got cinnamon roll on it. Yep. That's why you paid extra. Okay. A yeah. successful win. It's a box lunch bag. Don't go that way. Our favorite store. We got our favorite stuff. There it is. <laughs> New jerseys. We didn't find shorts yet, but we found shirts. Just what we need, another set of matching shirts. All right. Let's see what else we can get into before we get out of here and head home. That concludes another successful Life with Lucia and Glenn episode. Got lots of vitamin D today. We did. And if you like the content, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Please tell one of your friends to come to our channel to see what we have to Let us know if you've been anywhere where we were today. What did you like? What didn't you like? Let us know. We're always looking to improve. And shout out to Soheed for joining the Lucia and Glenn team all the way from Pakistan. We appreciate you. See you in the next episode.